Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingInPerfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share a very quick little technique that I used on um, a card a couple of days ago. And it involves using these little bottle caps. And um, so it involves using these right here. So I just wanted to show you. I'm sure that you've seen this, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to show you. I'm using my Big Shot. And um, I'm going to slide the two plat more of the two tabs through and I'm just going to use my platform. Now I'm using an old cruddy piece of glass and I'm using a piece of um, just thin card like I could use a piece of cardstock or a piece of thin cardboard. This happened to come in one of my big shot dies. I'm going to put my bottle cap down like this and then I'm just going to run this through my big shot machine. And then this will serve to squish it this isn't the part of the technique that I want to share with you, but just in case you don't know how to do that, you get the bottle cap looks like this as opposed to this. And you can use it either way. I really like it like this. I feel like it looks like a really pretty piece of jewelry when you use it like that. You can use it either way. Now if you wanted to make a piece of jewelry out of it, you could use your crocodile this device right here, one of these, to punch a hole in this to put a chain on if you wanted to. So you could actually do that. There are a couple of stamp sets that actually work really well to fit inside this um, these bottle caps. Um, one of the stamp sets is Collage Curio, which is in the um, Spring Mini. Then there's also this Spring Sampler set that works really well. That's the one I chose to use today. I'm using the little Sunshine um, stamp with um, Daffodil Delight. I just stamped, stamped it out. Now I'm going to use my little one inch circle punch. I'm just going to stamp this out. I'm going to try to center it as much as possible. I'm going to stamp this like this. And then I'm going to use my um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm going to I'm going to put a bunch of this here. I'm going to put a bunch of this on here. I'm going to use this stuff called Crystal Effects, and like if I was making this as a piece of jewelry, this would actually be ideal. And this is also going to help these edges stick down a little bit. So Crystal Effects is a clear, it's almost like a lacquer. It's technically an adhesive. So I'm just squeezing a little out and then I'm kind of running it around. And I'm going to get a bunch around the edges because I really want those edges to adhere down. And I fill in the whole thing with the Crystal Effects. I'm going to get all around the edges like that. The tip actually helps you do that. And you'll notice that it's a little cloudy. Now I'm going to give this about an hour, maybe even a little longer. I'm just going to leave it on my craft table. I'm going to give that some time to dry. And you don't want to be impatient because if you're like me and you're impatient, then um, you'll touch it to see if it's dry and you'll get a big fingerprint. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to get this. See how shiny they are? This is, th These images are from the Collage Curio set and it looks, it really gives an interesting look and the cloudiness goes away once they dry. These have actually been dried for a couple days, but look at that center one. You can see, if I tip it just right, how shiny. And if you were, if you had put a chain through there or put a, maybe poked a hole in the edge, like it would look really pretty. And here's one without the crystal effects. You can see the difference in the two. So it's just one more option to give your cards a wow factor. And stamp sets, let me just point out, there's one in particular. I don't have this. I left this downstairs. Stamp sets like this, like Cherished Friendship, it's got a basket of cherries or apples or something. Once you color those in, if you then just cover each one with a little tiny couple of drops of crystal effects, you get really shiny looking fruit. So that's a really fun way to use that crystal effects. But I really love the way it looks, the touch it adds to a card. If you wanted to make like a little necklace for, um, you know, a teenager or even a little girl or, you know, a keychain or something like that, that actually protects your image quite a bit. So that's called Crystal Effects, and it's actually a clear craft lacquer 
from Stampin' Up! So, thanks for watching. I'm Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Go to my website at StampingImperfection.com to sign up for my mailing list and get three videos just for subscribers. And I send out a couple newsletters every month with tutorials and unique card ideas and project and tool tips. And also go to my Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Stamping Imperfection. Like my page and there are two spots where you'll see free stuff and when you like my page you'll have access to the free stuff which I change periodically so thanks for watching